Hi everyone, this is E, the Empty Nester. Today I'm um, going to share a little bit of information on seed saving for the Blue Hubbard um, squash. This is something that I'm going to save seed from this year and try to regrow myself. I was lucky to find this at a Mennonite store and this is a really long keeper. It's a member of the cucumber family. It's cucumber maxima, and I may be saying that word wrong, but there's um, five different families of squash, and um, this one only um, crossbreeds with, I'll put a list right here on the side, I think it's like five other um, squashes, and um, it's best to take these squashes and plant them at least a half a mile away from each other so not to cross pollinate or you can just hand pollinate a single flower and protect it until it starts to form the fruit. And yes, this is actually a fruit because it's produced from a flower. And um, one thing about this one in particular, the reason I have to get this um, taken away today, it, the longer you leave the stem on these, the longer that the um, squash will last. This one started to go bad, so I cut open the back side of it and took out the seeds and um, it started to form mold and I'm just taking the seeds out, rinsing them off and letting them dry and going to try regrowing them next year. There's a chance that this may or may not have crossed with another um, type of squash, but I'm willing to take that chance next year and see if I can get some of these in my own garden. Okay, after cutting out the um, cutting a hole in the Hobart melon, I went through just like a pumpkin or any other thing. You go through the seeds and anything small like this, you want to dispose of because they're not really that viable. Anything turning black or moldy, and then you just want plump, really plump seeds like this one here. With the Hobart seed, you pretty much just rinse them off, and if you decide to put them on a towel, a paper towel, they're going to stick to the towel, so it's kind of best if you can let them drain or dry off in the strainer here. See how um, paper towels stick to them? And then after you get them dry enough, you know, put them on to... A uh, napkin, not a napkin, a coffee filter, you know, or wax paper, either one. But, you know, let them air dry for two or three weeks before you package them. And um, I did the floating test with it, and every one of these float, and I think it's because of the size. Over here, see how big they are? But I'm going to do a germination test. I, I put. I think there was four of them I put in this moist paper towel in a plastic bag and I'm going to check on them in the next couple days and see if they sprout. I'm going to let the rest of the um, Hobart squash sit here and let the birds and animals enjoy it. Give them some winter treats and for now I'll close with a beautiful view of the setting sun in Missouri. Sometimes we take the sky view and the sunsets and sunrises for granted, but I'm going to enjoy everyone I see. Thank you all for watching, and have a wonderful evening.